Hi friends, I'm Adasa from Easy Approach and it's the 18th video of Flutter video series. So as we have started the development things now, we need to understand a very core concept. Actually it is one of the most important topics of so far, that is of state management. And I have taken an example uh, of card application and on this example actually we will understand this uh, state management so that we can get it easily. And now as we know in Flutter we have widgets, either stateless widget or stateful widget. If the data of the widget is changeable, we say it a stateful widget. And if it is not, we say it a stateless widget. Now let's consider an example of card application. Suppose we have a card application and definitely we would have an app widget which is the root widget of our application. And in our application there are three different screens. The first one is the product, the second one is the checkout and the third one is the contact and this app widget is actually hosting all these screens which is a, this app widget is actually a root widget now let me define these screens a little this product screen will actually show all the list of the available items in a stock and when the user would hit some particular product or item that would add it to the card and once he has done with the with adding all the pro products he can navigate to the checkout screen and that checkout screen will do all the calculation by reading exactly the same card in which user has added items and then it perform all the checkout operations and this third one which is the contact us is just to make to connect user with the support and administration now suppose if user wants to buy some products by using our card application, what he would do? He would first come on this product screen where all the items or the products would be shown or available in some sort of a list like list view. And he would tap one of the items that he wants to add into the card. So we basically need to have a card as a state of this product widget. And as this card object would be changed every time when the user would tap an item. So this product widget needs to be a stateful widget so that it can update the UI whenever the card is changed. Now once he has done with the products, I mean once he has added all the items, he would navigate to this checkout screen where all the calculation would be performed by reading exactly the same card in which user has put it all the products. But as this card resides inside this product widget, so this checkout widget needs to contact with this product widget so that he can get the card, read all the products and perform all the uh, calculation and operations. But as they are sibling, as their parent is same which is this app widget. So in Flutter, siblings cannot communicate with each other and they cannot exchange their estate. And even if we manage to do it, we would be fighting with the framework as the framework does not allow to do it. So what we can do, we can take the state of the product widget, which is the card, and take it up to the parent level. I mean, we can define this card as a state of app widget. And as siblings or the child can communicate with the parent, so this product will communicate with card when whenever the user would tap on the item. So whenever the user would tap on the item, the product will communicate the card and would add the selected item to the card. And once he has done with all the items or all the shopping, he would navigate to the checkout. And checkout will read again the card so that he can do all the calculation and perform the checkout operation since the children can access the estate of parent. And now we have contact us screen at the last. It also have a state where we save all the contact details and do all the operation that's useful in making communication between the user and the administration. But this contact detail uh, state has nothing to do with this checkout widget and this product widget. So this must not be shared amongst other sibling. So that's the reason why I made it a local state rather than defining it into the app widget. So in Flutter, if a state is a global state or defined in an app widget, we say it app state. So it means all the other uh, screens uh, can access this state. And if a state is a local state, we say it ephemeral state, a state that is defined inside a particular widget. So this is it from this video actually. 
uh, to summarize things if you want to make your estate uh, to use uh, to uh, to be available in every uh, every screen so you you can make the state uh, or define uh, here inside this app widget or you can make it global by defining it into the app widget and if you want uh, a state to be in a in a particular widget so you can define it uh, in in that particular widget so this is it from this video uh, and this whole thing is called a state management to manage all these all these states thing uh, in the next video we'll uh, implement this card application and we'll do some more funny stuff thank you for watching